Alexa, wake up. Yes, I'm here. Today we're going to look at a Fire TV Cube. We're going to do a quick unboxing. Then we're going to look at the other functions and show you how this device will connect with your other smart devices in the house. We have everything out of the box. And what do we have? We have the Cube itself, some setup and warranty information. The remote, if you use a fire stick, the remote is a little different. It has a volume and mute buttons, which the other fire stick does not have for fire TV. It has the uh, infrared extender, which hopefully I won't need where I'm gonna place it. We'll see. Ethernet adapter and the power adapter. So if you're looking at cord cut, there's a lot of extra cords here. First thing I'll say is, I hope it, we don't need the extender to use the cube. Um, especially I'll be using it in a small room that's close in proximity to the TV. The other thing I'll say right off the bat is, why wasn't the ethernet plug just built into the cube itself. It seems like if uh, you're using 4K, uh, you would want the fastest speed possible, and that would be your direct connection. Sorry for the camera setup. The Fire Cube will not allow for a pass-through device, so I'm going to capture a video this way. Of course, the home screen looks just like your Fire Stick home screen. Got some different options at the top. I haven't seen, I'm sure the newer Fire Sticks have these options as well. But we're gonna go right to settings. Go to equipment control. Let's look at manage equipment. Here you'll find a list of your different devices that you can manage with your Fire Cube. Your Apple TV, a Roku player. I don't know why you'd have a Fire Cube and a Roku player or an Apple TV, but if you do, you can control them with this. DVD or Blu-ray player, DVR TiVo, Xbox, PlayStation. So when you first plug this in, it's gonna ask you some commands. And if you're gonna use it with a home theater system, for example, I'm using my Sony home theater system with HDMI switching. It's going to find all your channels and it's going to find the machine itself and it's going to know where to play the video through just by how you have it set up. So if you don't do that, you can come into here and set it up for the first time. Alexa, show my weather. Here is the weather in Raleigh. Alexa, show my front door. Alexa, play Sirius XM. Alexa, play songs by the Avid Brothers. Check in your songs by the Avid Brothers on Amazon Music. So that's not working. You can use it to control your audio apps. I use Sirius XM. I found it had difficulty playing the native Amazon Music app. So in conclusion, I've enjoyed having smart home devices connected to this TV. This TV resides in my office. I don't think it would work in the family room where most TV viewing takes place and there's other 
uh, chatter going on most of the time. So I don't know if it would work well in that situation, but for me in my office, um, controlling uh, security cameras, lights, and of course general apps that are native to the Fire TV, it's going to work well for me. So thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great day.